Hello everyone. I am Dr. Prasad Pratidam. Welcome to my class series on uh, Engineering Chemistry 21 CHE 122, Vishesha Technological University. This is for module 4, Green Chemistry and uh, Alternative Energy Resources, part 4, Atom Economy. So in this particular class video, I am explaining about uh, the Atom Economy introduction, synthesis of a ethylene oxide by a conventional method as well as Atom Economy route, Synthesis of methyl methacrylate by both uh, conventional and atom economy, uh, <coughs> comparing with that, uh, and some of the uh, basic uh, numerical problems based on atom economy. So, all these classes are uh, available uh, in my YouTube channel, uh, My Intuition. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and support me. So, atom economy, uh, it is a concept which was developed in the early 1990s in order to evaluate the efficiency of a, a chemical reaction or chemical conversion, that to element by element basis or atom by atom, uh, element means it's the atom only. Okay, by counting the number of atoms in the, both in the reactant side as well as product side, if it is equally, all the atoms are uh, converted into useful product, then we can say that it is 100% atom economy. Okay, so this concept is nowadays widely implemented in new routes to generate various organic compounds such as um, used in biomedical and pharmaceutical field that mainly uh, med medicine related drugs uh, all those manufacturing we are going for atom economy because it is more uh, uh, there is no wastage as well as it is more efficient method. So one option to reduce waste generation is to plan such chemical transformation, which maximize the integration of all materials used in the process into the final product, resulting in number of uh, wasted atoms as low as possible. That means we are not going to waste any atom. If an atom is wasted, uh, then that much uh, uh, wastage will be generated. Uh, there are different uh, formulas used to calculate the percentage atom economy, but all are, are the same because it depends on the law of conservation of mass. So percentage of atom economy can be calculated as uh, mass of decided useful product divided by total mass of all reactant multiplied by 100 or mass of decided useful product divided by total mass of all product or uh, it can be calculated with the formula mass of the useful product to divide by the total formula mass of reactant uh, multiplied by 100. Or it can be calculated as uh, formula mass of useful product divided by formula mass of all product or formula weight of atoms utilized divided by formula weight of all reactant multiplied by 100. So all are giving the same, will be giving the same result as since it obeys the law of conservation of mass. So first one we'll see synthesis of ethylene oxide. Before ethylene oxide synthesizer, it is what is the what is ethylene oxide and what are its uses? <clears throat> ethylene oxide it is a feedstock uh, starting material used in the synthesis of uh, ethylene glycol, which is mainly used as an antifreeze. It is also used as an surfactant, like like ethoxylates and the glycol ethers, and as well as it is used in polymers polyethylene phthalate. Uh, approximately 8,800 million pounds of ethylene oxide it is prepared uh, in the uh, globally it is prepared worldwide. The concept of atom economy that is that much amount of uh, ethylene oxide is required uh, every year before it's a synthesized it's a manufacture or it's a production should be more efficient. So the concept of atom economy can be illustrated by comparing the synthesis of ethylene oxide by two method that is a conventional method of uh, chemical route of chlorohydrin route then second one catalytic route by using catalyst <clears throat> so first one that is conventional method for chlorohydrin route in a classical synthesis of ethylene oxide a two step uh, synthesis is uh, taken which is called as chlorohydrin route in which uh, ethene is taken as the starting material ch2 double bonds ch2 it is uh, treated with uh, chlorine uh, and water uh, chlorine gas Cl, uh, single bond Cl and H2O, HOH written here. So it will be giving the product uh, chloro, chlorine uh, 2 chloro uh, ethanol, then HCl as the byproduct. Now the 2 chloro ethanol it is then treated with the calcium hydroxide in the second step. Uh, the side products are calcium chloride, water, as well as uh, we are getting the uh, <clears throat> so called ethylene oxide. So this is the conventional method of chlorohydrin route to prepare 
the ethylene oxide CH2, 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 CH2 single bond, CH2 single bond with oxygen as a, a ring structure. That is ethylene oxide. <clears throat> now, if you check the atom economy, the reagents uh, formula that is C2H4, the uh, uh, reagent used that is ethene, its formula weight that is 28, you know, two carbon is there, 24, and four hydrogen, 24 plus 4, 28. Utilized atoms are two carbon and four hydrogen are used. Therefore, the weight is 28. Then chlorine is also used. Its uh, formula weight uh, is 71, 35.5, two chlorine are there. Therefore, it is 71. Uh, utilized atom, no chlorine is utilized in the final product of ethylene oxide, that, as you can see in the uh, reaction. No chlorine is present in ethylene oxide, but it, it is used as a reagent. Then H2O, water molecule is also used. Uh, 18 is the formula weight, that is oxygen 16 and 2 hydrogen, 16 plus 2, 18. Uh, 16, it is hydrogen is used, hydrogen is, it is the used, but uh, oxygen, it, only oxygen is used, hydrogen is not used, sorry, only oxygen is used in the final product, two hydrogens are not used, already that two hydrogens we count from the ethene. Then uh, calcium hydroxide, its uh, formula weight is 72, none is used, zero is the usage. Then total you can say two carbon, eight hydrogen, uh, three oxygen, one calcium and two chlorine, total 189. But what is the reagents, reagent side and the product side, the atom replaced are two carbon, four hydrogen and one oxygen, totally 44 to get the ethylene oxide. We are not counting the side products, side products we are not counting. Only the main product, uh, how much uh, atoms are in order, what is the formula weight. Therefore, if you calculate the percentage atom economy, it can be calculated as for, um, <clears throat> formula weight of uh, atoms utilized uh, uh, in the product, uh, data product uh, divided by formula weight of all reactants multiplied by 100. That is 44 divided by 189 multiplied by 100. You'll be getting only 23 percentage. Therefore, the chlorohydrin root gives only 23 percent percentage of uh, atom economy. That means remaining uh, atoms are uh, wastage. Then we go for we uh, check the synthesis of ethylene oxide by the catalytic route. The catalytic route ethylene oxide is from uh, uh, it. It has been developed in which uh, it is a single step uh, reaction. In which the ethene is directly made to react with oxygen, one mole of a half mole of oxygen, half O2, in presence of a suitable catalyst, will be giving the final product ethylene oxide. So, here we can see the formula weight, uh, uh, the reagent uh, which are used ethene, uh, 28 uh, is the reagent uh, formula weight, uh, it is there in the utilized, 20, all 28 is utilized, half O2 is used. Uh, and it is also present, therefore total it is uh, 44. Therefore, the percentage atom economy, if you calculate, that is 44 divided by 44, multiplied by 100, that is 100 percentage. Therefore, the catalytic root <clears throat> that we use will be giving 100 percent atom economy, that means maximum yield is obtained or there is no wastage of any chemical. So that is the importance of atom economy. Now, one more example that is synthesis of methyl methacrylate. Uh, methyl methacrylate it is uh, one of the major one of the uh, it is the monomer not one of the methyl methacrylate is a monomer used for the synthesis of polymethyl methacrylate PMMA which we also call as a plexiglass because it has got high transparency we call it as plexiglass uh, so consider two routes for the synthesis of this monomer that is conventional chemical route as well as green chemistry route using catalyst in the conventional route uh, <clears throat> Acetone is uh, reacted with HCN followed by treatment with the uh, concentrated sulfuric acid and methanol. So we'll take the reaction. So this is uh, acetone, CH3COCH3. It is reacted with HCN or treated with HCN in presence of sodium hydroxide. It will be giving the corresponding uh, uh, substituted product, uh, uh, addi addi addition product, not substitution, addition product. Uh, uh, CO will be is added with H plus and CN minus the addition product is the, then for, for the it is with, uh, uh, treated with sulfuric acid, the sulfonation reaction takes place. Okay, so OSO2 OH, wherever OH is present, it converts into OSO2 OH. Uh, where CN is present, it is converted into corresponding amide, CONH2. 
and remaining CH3 is as such present there. Then on hydrolysis, that is adding H2O, it will be converted into CH3, uh, CH2 double bond C, CH3, CO, OH, acrylic acid. Now it will be converted into uh, esterification reaction using methanol. Uh, CH2 double bond C it will be converted into CH2 double bond C, single bond COO, CH3, single bond CH3, that is methyl methacrylate. Okay, so uh, acrylic acid that uh, H is replaced with the methyl group, therefore the name methyl methacrylate. Okay, so the atom economy of this particular chemical root that is 47 percentage. So let us see the green chemistry or catalytic root of uh, methyl methacrylate and we calculate the atom economy, percentage atom economy, in which uh, <clears throat> green chemistry propyne is used as the starting material, it is reacted with the methanol and carbon monoxide which is called as the methoxy carbonylation reaction in presence of a metal catalyst system uh, will produce the methyl methacrylate. So again, I'm starting taking the starting material that is propyne, CH3C triple bond uh, CH, uh, reacts with uh, CO in presence of methanol, carbon monoxide in presence of, you know, in presence of palladium as catalyst to give the corresponding final product in a single step that is CH2, C, CH3, COO, CH3 that is methyl methacrylate and here also we can see it is 100% atom economy. Therefore, here also there is no wastage of uh, chemicals, uh, only one product is obtained, a single product, 100% uh, uh, yield conversion we can expect. Now, some of the numerical problems based on atom economy concept, or we can calculate the atom economy for any given uh, reaction. Um, two, uh, two, three examples I took. Uh, you can take any reaction and we can calculate it if you know the uh, atomic masses. <clears throat> okay, for a <clears throat> blast furnace reaction, that is iron oxide, Fe2O3, reacts with the carbon monoxide to give iron and carbon dioxide. Let us calculate the atom economy of the extraction of this iron and this process. Atomic masses of iron is given 56, carbon as 12, oxygen is 16. Formula masses of the reactants, there are two reactants, Fe2O3 and uh, 3CO. So for the total formula mass, uh, here it is 2 into Fe atomic mass is 56, then uh, 3 in oxygen, that's 3 into 16, oxygen is 16, uh, plus uh, 3 uh, multiplied by total uh, carbon uh, is 12, oxygen is 16. Therefore, 244 is the formula mass of the reactant. Formula mass of the desired product, only the desired product is iron, and we are getting two moles of iron here. Therefore, formula mass of 2 Fe is 2 into 56, 1, 1, 2. Percentage of atom economy or atom economy will be uh, 122, 112, that is the formula mass of desired product, divided by total uh, formula mass of the reactants, 254, multiplied by 100, 45.9 percentage. Now for the fermentation of sugar to make alcohol, let us calculate the atomic economy. Uh, given atomic mass, it is done in presence of an enzyme. So uh, arrow having enzyme, that means it is uh, the you know, sugar is fermented by using enzyme to give the alcohol. And the side product is carbon dioxide. Now let us calculate, uh, it is a very simple calculation. Let us calculate the formula mass of glucose, only one reagent is there. So six into 12 plus 12 into one plus six into 16 that is a six represents six number of carbon carbon atomic mass is 12 12 number of hydrogen hydrogen atomic mass is one and uh, six number of six oxygen that is 16 total is 180 formula mass of the major product that is ethanol it is two two times uh, c to h5 h that is two moles of ethanol is there so two multiplied by two into 12 plus uh, five into one plus uh, one into 16 uh, uh, plus uh, 1 into 1. Okay, so this hydrogen accounts separate only. Can you can calculate as 2 into 12 plus 6 into 1 plus 1 into uh, 16. Yeah, so we'll give the same answer, 92. The uh, percentage atom economy, that is 100 multiplied by 92 divided by 180, 51.1 percentage. Now for the conversion of ethanol to ethane, calculate the percentage atom economy. That is done uh, by heating in presence of catalyst. Uh, so let us calculate the mass of ethanol. That is the uh, reagent. That is 46. Now calculate the formula mass of ethene. That is 28. 
percentage atomic economy for the purpose that is 60.9 percentage. Uh, let us calculate the percentage atomic economy of this conversion crushing component to give alignment to carbon dioxide. Uh, the masses of calcium for atomic mass of calcium is 40, carbon it is 12, oxygen it is 16, formula mass of calcium carbonate is 100, formula mass of calcium oxide it is 56, therefore uh, the percent atom economy is 56 percentage, that is 100 into 56 divided by 156 percentage. So that's about um, uh, atom economy concept, uh, it is newly introduced into Vishwesha Technical University syllabus, a very important concept. Everyone should know about uh, the atom economy concept. And you have to plan uh, a new method for even if uh, there are any existing methods are there, we need to plan um, a new method such a way that maximum atoms are utilized in the final product. Hope you understood this concept. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you. Also.